Before I start this video, I want to offer a couple of quick notes. The first is uh, we like to kind of show the restaurants that we eat at just really briefly, two minutes max. So uh, if you want to skip that and go straight to the uh, photo walk with the street photography, skip forward about two minutes or two and a half minutes and you'll be there. Uh, the second thing is I like to do, when I'm doing street photography, I, I like to vlog with my GoPro Hero 6 and that's what I used in the street photography vlogging part of today's video, but my Hero 6 is kind of wearing out and the picture quality was really, really bad in this particular video. I've already ordered a new uh, Hero 8 to replace it, so uh, look forward to the, the video quality of my street photography vlogs and anytime I'm using a GoPro should improve uh, very soon. So on with the show. Hello, it's Phil Thatch, and today Heather and I are in a new restaurant in Chattanooga called Goodfellas, and it's a pizza restaurant. They also have beer, and it is kind of slightly uh, copying the Goodfellas movie or paying homage to the Goodfellas movie. Some of the uh, items on the menu are named after parts of the Goodfellas movie, and the Goodfellas movie is one of my all-time favorites, so I'll show you around here. It's not all memorabilia from the Goodfellas movie. As you can see here, most of that was not from the movie. And as I was making these shots of the restaurant, the manager saw me and the next thing you know, he invited me to the downstairs portion, which is really, really awesome. And I'll show that to you now. It's the downstairs area, speakeasy, opens at four. Really beautiful down here. Look at these beautiful lights and the bar looks well stocked. High-end top whiskey. High-end top whiskey. There's dart boards over here. And you go back up the subway stairs to get back to the restaurant where Heather and I are eating. Really cool. So this is how you get down to Wise Guy Lounge down below. Our 12-inch pie. This is what what name did we get? The Goodfellow. We got the Goodfellow, which is kind of a meat lovers sort of thing, it looks like. Very cool. Pizza. It's very, very good. Did you like all the meats on it? Yeah. I think myself personally, I probably would have liked just a pepperoni better, but it was fun getting the good fella. Yeah. Okay, thanks for watching us hanging out at Goodfellas, a really cool new pizza restaurant here in Chattanooga, Tennessee, just a couple of blocks from the Chattanooga Choo Choo and right next door to Wanderlinger Brewing and just across the parking lot from the Moxie. Really nice place, I think they're gonna do well. All right, we are parked right here at the Moxie. I mean, right on the front door. And we are looking to meet David Sailors just down the road a little ways, Heather and I. It's Heather and Phil, by the way. Yeah. We just had a wonderful lunch at the brand new Goodfellas restaurant. But now we're looking to forward to finding David and doing some street photography in this area of downtown Chattanooga. All right, so we have run across David Sailors. We asked him to meet us down here and he was kind enough to do so. And now we're gonna go down, I think we're gonna go down to Main Street, which is about a block and a half from here and do some street photography with the legendary David Sailors. <laughs> okay, so anytime you see Z50 in the bottom left during this video, that's one of Heather's shots and she made a photograph across Main Street of the firemen resting, but he didn't get to rest for long because very shortly after this, they got called out to a fire. There's a loud truck going by, and it's gone. All the Fuji pictures are made by me, and this is one of my favorites of the day, this trio of happy young ladies crossing the road, smiling and giving me a peace sign as I made their picture. And here's Heather. I had her pose in the center of this piece of street artwork. I thought this was a beautiful picture of her wearing her mask. And here's a young man just standing in a doorway, as the Rolling Stones might say. Uh, killing time in Chattanooga, talking on the phone, maybe trying to meet somebody somewhere. I like this shot a little bit. Okay, so we're hanging around down in the general vicinity of Main Street and Rossville Boulevard. And David here is giving us all sorts of reasons to be nervous while we walk past these buildings. <laughs> For example, this building right here and many others near here have uh, bolts 
holding the walls from falling down. And this wall, even though there's plenty of bolts holding it, they're still bulging out. This is a very David Sailors, uh, Georgia photographer, YouTube channel observation, <laughs> but he's here with us, so I thought I would share it with you. Okay, here's a couple of Heather's pictures, this beautiful purple flower that she made a photograph of. Looks really good. I love the dark background that she was able to capture. That always makes the bright colored flowers stick out more. And Heather made a photograph of this bicycle and I thought it was interesting because I had photographed this exact same bicycle in this location on a previous street photography video. Okay, so I'm standing right here on the intersection of Passenger Street and East Main. And there's the school uh, chicken mural on the wall and right by the sidewalk there's a garden i'm not sure what all is growing here but that's definitely tomatoes maybe only tomatoes i'm not sure that could be okra down there i'm not sure but uh definitely something strange here in the middle of downtown chattanooga <laughs> all right so we're here at the play wash pint does that mean they serve beer here okay and uh <laughs> Anyway, we've enjoyed, we've enjoyed taking some pictures of dogs here for just a minute. All right, here is a couple about to get to the dog park with their dog. I caught them as they walked down the sidewalk pretty close to the dog park. And then this next shot, Heather and I both made a photograph of this beautiful dog. This is my photograph of the dog just kind of chilling in the grass right beside the fence of the dog park. But Heather caught this same dog socializing with a dog in the dog park through the fence and I think this photograph is pretty cool to catch that interaction through the fence and then I went over by the fence and tried to make a photograph of these two dogs and they started barking at me and when they quit barking I caught this photograph right here which is probably my favorite dog photo of mine in the video. Heather made this photograph of David and I as we walked back towards the Chattanooga Choo Choo which is kind of the area where we started and when we got over there, I, I saw this really exotic looking flower that was growing out of a crack in the concrete jungle. And I thought it looked pretty cool with the tiny alley behind it. And when we got to Station Street, which is just on the outside of the Choo Choo, this young man was working the door. And I met, no, excuse me, Heather made this photograph of him. And then there was these two cool dudes that David had made photographs of a couple of times. And when we came back by, they were much more in the mood to be photographed. And Heather got this photograph of this fella. And then Heather got this photograph of this fella. And the fella in the first photograph wanted to show David a stunt that he could do. So I said, well, I got to make a photograph of that. And pretty impressive. I like the, uh, the young lady in the background who's observing this guy doing gymnastics or something at the restaurant and then I thought this picture I made of this family was really cool most people aren't paying attention to me but look at the little girl on the right giving me the stink eye one of my favorite photos of this video all right well we are still doing street photography with David and Heather we've stopped at the frothy monkey which is Casey Thatch's favorite restaurant here at the Chattanooga Choo Choo I think we're just gonna get something to drink and then keep on working all right, so I had Heather as the focus point for this photograph at the Frothy Monkey, but it's cool to see David in the background as well. I really like that 18 to 55 Fuji lens. Yeah, it is your focus, it's sharp. Yeah. I ain't believing it. <laughs> okay, so during that clip, I was making this photograph right here at 18 millimeters f2.8 on the kit lens. And I really like how it turned out. If you look closely, you can see the smoke coming off of my coffee. And if you're thirsty for both beer and coffee, just order them both. Don't be scared. Okay, so all these next few photos are taken in the lobby of the Chattanooga Choo Choo. And right in the center of the lobby, they have this small wooden Choo Choo train. And then the Frothy Monkey entrance is right there in the lobby of the Chattanooga Choo Choo. So I was standing in the lobby of the Choo Choo when I made this entrance shot. And then this is Heather's photograph of the hallway that goes to the restrooms. Our friend Amy Kenyon made all the photographs on the wall, which is really cool, I think. And then here's a photograph I made by setting the X-T3 on the sink in the bathroom and setting a focus and setting a timer. I am not actually using the restroom in this photograph, but I tried to make it look like it. And I kind of like this photo. It may not be the most tasteful photo I've ever made, but I don't care. I really like it a bunch, and I hope you do too. 
Yeah. All right, so we just got finished uh, having some beverages at the Frothy Monkey, which is right here inside the Chattanooga Choo Choo. It's more than a hotel, they say. And now we're gonna continue doing some street photography with me and Heather and David Sailors, the Georgia photographer. Okay, so we love panning blurs and I've never tried them with the X-T3 before. So I'm working on some panning blurs hanging out down here. We just turned off, but we just walked around the corner from Market Street and I hope there's no wind noise because it's blowing super hard. We just turned on to Main Street and we're walking, this... we're walking south on Main Street. And we might try some more panning blurs here in a little while. All right, well, this is my first successful panning blur with the X-T3. I really like using the 18 to 55 kit lens. I like it's wider than normal aperture for a kit lens and it's stabilization works well for this. So David and I were talking about how funny it is that right now I'm shooting with an X-T3, which is kind of <laughs> David's main camera. And I'm probably most known for shooting with a Z6, which is what David's shooting with today. So <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. We're, uh, we're uh, doing different stuff today. Yeah, this is, we're flipping rolls. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well here is a double selfie I made. If you look in both rear view mirrors on this motorcycle, you can see me making the shot. And if you look on the side of the gas tank, you can see David observing me make the shot. So that was a fun one. Okay, so we're hanging out here on I Have No Idea Street. And I found this really cool uh, fire hydrant with some beautiful flowers beside it. Uh, Dave took a picture of the flower on the far side. It's like an iris, but it's really... Here's Heather's photograph of the vandalized Tesla. I hope they catch whoever did that that's totally not cool to tear up somebody's car and the next photograph is my photograph of the fire hydrant and the red and yellow flower and the daisies in the background I don't know I'm getting to where I take a lot of fire hydrant pictures too not just daisies but you know I can't pass up a photograph of some daisies and it was kinda cool using the kit lens for this I think it did a nice job of this flower photo it's not a macro lens but it did just fine, I thought. So Heather has a great eye. David and I were all here on this spot. Didn't notice this at all, but Heather's making a photograph of this. I guess it's a man-made rose that's kind of twisted around on a piece of copper around this no parking sign. Really cool. And uh, Heather got the shot. Okay, so this is Heather's photograph of the flower that was festooned onto the no parking sign. I thought it was really cool that she found this flower. Nobody else even saw it, and she made an interesting perspective photograph. We're continuing walking down this street, and David has figured out that where the streets have no name is actually William Street. It's really pretty down here. Kind of unusual, but very cool. Uh, in our last video, we did a panorama with that lookout sign at the bottom of it. And now here we are a block or so away. I'll put a link. So now we're coming back up to Market Street. There's Clumpy's ice cream, but look at this staircase down here. Yeah. So I captured this group of young people as they were walking around on Market Street and the girl in the front seems to be wearing a Sony camera shirt. And all I can say is as David would, get your camera out and take a picture with it. And here's a panning blur that I made of this couple riding by on their big gold wing and this is the last photo of the video well we were making this really fun little clip and i made another mistake during the making of this video because i really loved this clip that we made but i forgot to turn my microphone on or maybe i did turn my microphone on and i didn't plug it in whatever the result is the same. There's no audio during this clip. So I'm having to do a voiceover. And what we were talking about, David was showing us a lens that he was borrowing from one of his viewers. And he was going to use the photographs that he made during this video to review that lens. And we were talking about how much fun we had and how it was nice to have all three of us hanging out together doing photography. And we were talking about how folks should subscribe to David's channel and maybe subscribe to my channel and get your camera out and take a picture, which is David's slogan on his channel. And we were talking about how cool it was to have Heather with us. But I uh, really appreciate you watching this video. Give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Bye-bye.